All right, Nick, another job, another pond to build, another day of summer vacation, supposedly, right? Yeah. Are you ready this morning, Jay? Oh, I'm ready. I think you were here at six, right? Getting stuff ready? I'm here at six, getting stuff ready. All right, see, he is a dedicated man to build your water feature. <laughs> So we're in Granville, New York, and the homeowner originally built this pond. I think he did a really nice job with this. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna build a pondless waterfall. One thing we're gonna do is take apart this wall right here and put some bigger boulders in. And so it kind of ties in with what we're gonna do up here. Over in here, this is where our um, reservoir is gonna be for our pondless waterfall. But we got lots of elevation that we can start carving with. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna have our pit top out over here so we can get one more drop out of this waterfall area and then check out the elevation we're gonna have all right so we got everything marked out we're almost ready to roll this is where our pomless basin is gonna be and then our stream is just gonna kind of meander all the way up through here come back down over here go back on up and then we're gonna start pooling right up by the house over here this is an absolute clean slate which is so much fun to work with and there's a look back at that well we better get to work time to build waterfalls jay what are we doing down here we're down here getting the bottom of this pit level making sure we're at grade so when the aqua blocks lay in everything's flat it'll work out good yeah we don't want any of that gypsy stuff right with that rolling effect <laughs> No roller coaster. No, no gypsies here. It's always super important to dry fit your aqua blocks. There's nothing worse than getting all your liner in and then your aqua blocks don't fit. Of course here we over dig all the time so we allowed ourselves almost a foot in one direction and two feet back the reason i like to dig back all the way over in here so that way when we're trying to backfill this pit everything's just not falling in and it's just a total pain so we'll be able to cut that back as we're backfilling to get the entry for our stream to come right into here this is going to be All right, so we have our whole basin in. We got some gravel down there to get ready for. We're gonna start rocking this thing. The best part is we get to go pick rock out of the hedgerow. Let's go get some rock. Today we are starting to waterfall. There's nothing better than waterfall day, is there? No. All right. Building water, or do waterfall, get creative. I love building waterfalls. You know, what did Nick say yesterday? He said, if I hadn't met my wife, I would have married a rock. That comes from a 13 year old. What the heck? But this is gonna be our first drop down, or our last drop, not our first. It's our first one we're building, but our last drop into our pondless pit. And this thing is gonna really be able to hammer this water down because check out that elevation that we have. Today we started this waterfall and the rocks that we picked out off of this property in the hedgerows is just beautiful. I wish I had a hundred thousand of these rocks. So check out this set of falls. So down here on this lower end, this falls is going to drop that way. We have this center falls is going to come down here. This one big rock 
is going to be an awesome waterfall and then over into here we're going to build another set of falls there in the back all water so nick you hauled all the rock out of the hedgerows for us and brought us over here and kept feeding us rock what do you think of the rock here it's amazing it's huge it is big isn't it yeah. so the guys are getting all this uh getting a little bit of the stone dropped because we got to bring more stone back we're going to neaten this place up and you know what we'll see you again on monday Absolutely beautiful. That's going to be another wear rock. Up on top, we're going to have a pooling area. You can see that spillway in there. We just wanted to add one more element. And then when you come across here, check out these falls. These things are going to be epic. And that bridge stone, that's going to be the transition from that patio over there back over into the yard. And then back up on top over here, we have started another drop that's going to have a really cool kind of ripple effect on that just before that bridge. So everything's going to be super interactive. Check out what Nick found. Pretty cool. <laughs> He's found the hammock. That's a good spot for him. I'll see you tomorrow morning, buddy. All right, so normally Bob's out doing service work, but today we have him with us. He's building this small little falls over there. I'm not gonna show it to you because when it's all done, we want it up and running. So Bob, you happy to be doing something besides service calls today? Absolutely. All right. All right, Austin, what are you doing over here? I'm just sealing this over here so we get a nice ripple run effect through these waterfall rocks. You like doing these type of falls, don't you? Yeah, they're the best. Right. So tell me, what is your favorite part of the project? You were just telling the three of us a few minutes ago. Uh, probably finishing up the edges around the pond and the waterfall. So you, Jason, and Bob have been working on that, right? Yep. So we got Jason over here. Say hello, Jay. Hey, guys. on this beautiful pondless waterfall we built. You know, one of the most exciting things is when you can take something that's got some sentimental value, like these boulders came off the property in a hedgerows. I mean, to be able to build a feature out of that, that's memories for years and years to come. And when I saw these rocks, I'm like, yeah, I need that one, I need that one, I need that one. I didn't care how far we had to drive on that property because at the end of the day, it's all about the result. And this came out beautiful. One of the cool things that we were able to do is right here, there's an existing pond down below, and there's a big enough overflow in that pond that we were able to take and build this little, little wear right here where that water will spill over that from this pit, and which is our pondless pit, right? So we have about approximately 1,200 gallons of water storage, but we have a lot of water in transit. We got two pumps. We got a five to 9,000 SDS pump, and we also, put in a uh, 5PL to go to a spillway just to give added water because I really wanted this rock to have its own water. 
even though the systems are all connected, that spillway is just above that hidden over there. So it gives us that extra volume that we're looking for. This is our whole bottom entrance rock. Normally that water is just a little bit lower, a couple inches. And then check out when you come over into here, we really try to emulate nature. Look at this little offshoot of water over here to the right. And then when you come back in there, we, got, we have this bridge rock that's right up above there. And we got a very small air gap because a lot of times in nature, you'll see where there's a rock slide and that water is pushing out. You can see how we made that kind of crash, hit that rock and come back to the left. So up here, you can see that whole body of water. My thing is, I like to do deep streams. Deep streams are important because I don't like to see all that gravel and everything because how many times are you in some rapids or something, unless it's a dry year, you always have bodies of water and you check out no matter where you go on this feature, we always have bodies of water in there. All right, so now we're right up close. I'm sure you can hear the water and it's, it's really got a great sound. I love how this is. When you create this little cavern area, all it does is emulate that sound and bounce it back out the other way, like towards me, because I got the camera facing a waterfall. So that sound just comes back and it just kind of ricochets off the woods and everything. Check out that little offshoot over there. You know, when we find rocks, like this particular rock over here you're looking at, it has a little ripple. It looks like the water has been rushing through there for years and years, and it's just eroded that. Okay, so up here we have that bridge stone. We got a step here, because down over here is that existing patio. And then on the other side, we gotta check out these little rapids we got going on here. This is one of the more natural things we see in our area. And that's one of the things I like to emulate. So this is over here on the other side of the bridge. And over here, we have that nice little falls falling over there. And then back over in here, we have that secret falls way down in there. Check out up in here. We actually built this waterfall over in this side because there is this patio over here. So we kind of wanted a dedicated falls. So say you're over here sitting in the chairs, check out the view right there. Then you can kind of come up there and you see the ripples there. And then from down below, check out this whole thing. We actually have this little S turn into this water. I like how it kind of just comes back and forth. It looks natural. And then check out that opening right there. It's just kind of coming through softly. What we did up on the top is we wanted it to make it look more like, you know, just kind of like a bubbling spring. We didn't want any forced look. So we put our pipes really low and it kind of like percolates right up on top. But from this view, look at that right there. That's one of my favorite parts about this is that right of that cutout on that rock just to the left of, of the, where the bridge opening is. It's got like a natural cutout so the water rushes right through. And then we have another bridge up here. So up into here, this is where our upflow is. We put our pipe in low so basically it's bubbling up and it's looking like it's creating a current right there. The water's coming over them small rocks. It's going over this beautiful little bridge that we have here. The water goes all the way back by the bridge, comes back down through here, trails back this way, and down in, over, and back. I really like to make things interactive. When I saw this, I'm like, oh, they have an existing patio there. They're gonna put this deck on up here. They have another deck up there. They actually have their kitchen and bedroom in this side of the house also. So you're gonna get that sound if you open up the windows. So you can come from there, you go across this big slab stone, you come out with these stepping stones, you can either transition out to where this, this grass is going to be after the house construction is done, or you'll be able to come right back up. You know, we got a couple of slab steps up here. Check out these big accent boulders. It's one of the most important things that people leave out is some flank boulders. Then you're going to come up through here and you have more stepping stones. And the reason for that is we want to make this super interactive, right? So now you're coming all the way up through here and we got this other beautiful bridge and it's going right to an existing path. And look, now you got another set of stairs. You come down the set of stairs. Now you're to this sitting area. You come back across and here we are. So no matter where you walk on this project, there is always a viewing point. And that's what I like the best.